When you're setting up a website, one of the first big decisions you'll need to make is choosing the right hosting plan. If you're not super tech savvy, it might feel like stepping into a world of confusing terms and options. But here's the good news. You don't need to be an expert to figure this out. By the end of this video, you'll know whether shared hosting or VPS hosting is the better fit for your sites. Plus, I'll share a deal with one of my favorite hosting providers, so stick around if you want to save some moolah. So picking a hosting plan really comes down to three things. Your budget, how much traffic you expect, and how much control you want over your site. To keep things simple, think of shared hosting like renting an apartment and VPS hosting like owning a townhouse. Both get the job done, but one gives you more space and control while the other one is more budget friendly. So let's start with shared hosting. Shared hosting is the most common type of web hosting and for good reason, it's cheap and easy to use. Imagine living in an apartment building. You have your own space, your website, but you're sharing the same structure, the server, with other tenants, other websites. Since you're splitting resources like CPU power, memory, and storage, the cost stays low. The biggest perks, affordability and simplicity. For example, Hostinger's shared hosting starts at around $3 per month, making it a great choice if you're just starting out. You also get handy extras like a free SSL certificate for security, a website builder to design your site easily, and automatic backups just in case something goes wrong. It's a hassle-free way to launch your website without worrying about technical stuff. Shared hosting is perfect for small websites like personal blogs, portfolios, and basic business sites. If you're new to web hosting and don't want to deal with complex server management, this is a solid choice. Hostinger's user-friendly control panel makes it easy to navigate, and they handle all the maintenance and security updates for you. But there are some trade-offs. Since you're sharing a server with other websites, your site's speed and performance can be affected if another site gets a huge spike in traffic. It's kind of like having a noisy neighbor in an apartment. If they throw a party, you might hear it. In web hosting terms, if another site on your server suddenly eats up too many resources, your site might slow down. Another downside is you don't get much control over your server settings. Hosting providers keep a tight grip on configurations to make sure there's stability for everyone on the server. If you're someone who likes to tweak and customize, you might find this limiting. And that's where VPS hosting comes in. So VPS hosting or virtual private server hosting is a step up from shared hosting. If shared hosting is like an apartment, VPS is like upgrading to a townhouse. You're you're still in a larger neighborhood, but you get your own dedicated space and resources. VPS hosting uses virtualization technology to split one physical server into multiple virtual ones, each with its own dedicated portion of CPU, memory, and storage. This means your website runs independently from others, so you don't have to worry about noisy server neighbors slowing you down. Hostinger's VPS plans start at $5 per month, which is more than shared hosting, but you get a lot more flexibility with it. The biggest benefits of VPS hosting is you get more control. You can customize your server settings, install your own software, and configure things how you like. And since your site has dedicated resources, it won't be affected by what other websites on the server are doing. Hostinger's VPS plan offers dedicated CPU cores, RAM, and SSD storage, so your site can handle more traffic without lagging. And since your environment is isolated, if another website on the server gets hacked, it won't affect you. Hostinger's VPS plans also include automatic backups, DDoS protection, and other security features. That said, VPS hosting isn't for everyone. It's pricier than shared hosting and requires more technical knowledge. So if you're just starting out, shared hosting is probably all you need. It's affordable, beginner-friendly, and takes care of the technical side for you. Now, one of the biggest advantages of VPS hosting is how easy it is to scale. With shared hosting, if your website outgrows the plan, you'll likely need to move to a completely different plan or even a different provider. With VPS, upgrading is seamless. You can increase your resources as your site grows without migrating to a new hosting environment. Hostinger makes scaling simple, so as your traffic increases, you can adjust your VPS plan to match your needs. So which one should you choose? Well, if you're just getting started, shared hosting is the best option. Option. It's affordable, easy to manage, and perfect for launching your site. Hostinger's shared hosting plans uh, starts at around $3 per month and gives you everything you need to get started, including a free SSL certificate, website builder, and 24-7 support. But if you're running a business, an online store, or a high-traffic website, VPS hosting is worth the investment. You'll get more control, better performance, and a more secure hosting environment. And if you guys want to save some money on hosting, use the code SITESTARTERS for an extra discount on Hostinger. So check out the link in the description for details. At the end of the day, choosing between shared hosting 
hosting and VPS hosting comes down to your website's needs. The great thing is that you don't have to decide right away. You can start with shared hosting and upgrade to VPS when you're ready. Like I said, Hostinger makes it easy to scale up, so your hosting can grow alongside your business. So if you guys found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And if you have any questions for me, drop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching as always, and I will see you in the next one.